All right, guys, so now we're gonna try the trailer maneuver assistant in the BMW X7 facelift. Now remember, this is the way we're gonna go back. So you mentioned that's your entrance to your home, your garden, garage, or whatever. So the first thing is you hooked up now the trailer. So then how does a car know there's a trailer in the rear? So what you do is you go first in the main menu, go into driving settings, press driver assistance. Now it says trailer mode. Connect. Exactly. And now it says trailer because you also could have a rear carry on it. Mm -hmm. So now move forward a little bit. How does you know how the trailer should go in reverse back into your garage? Or does the car know, hey, how large is it? Mm -hmm. Or how does it react because you have a long wheelbase? It's actually pretty good or real stable for trailers to follow. So what you do is put it in reverse. So now it says start trailer assist. If you're gonna press that now, it says trailer detection in progress. Please drive forward and steer. Here you see that little V, and then there's a black line in there. So now to detect the trailer into the system, it would use this V and the black line, what is the middle of the trailer, and detects how long the axle is and how it reacts to the mover of the car. So now we're gonna go forward, go towards, you see the sign over there, rough cobblestone? So that's where we're gonna drive real quick over there. Then we turn left. Make a U-turn. So now it already knows how the trailer moves because there is no trailer detection warning on it. So we're going to go forward, we can leave off the travel cable stone, and then we're going to go around the building. So then we move over to the left, go towards the cobblestone. So now we stop. So now you want to back up your trailer into your garage. You go in reverse. So now read. Okay. Once the car reaches a speed above 10 kilometers or six miles an hour, it cancels the system, mm -hmm. okay? So all what you have to do is use brake, mm -hmm. accelerator, and leave the steering by itself. Mm -hmm. Press continue, please. So you either have the option between the eye controller or the touch screen. Once you move the eye controller to the rear towards you, to the rear, the car would always steer itself towards where the trailer is mm. pointing to. Okay. okay? So now we're going to start trailer assistant. Continue. Continue. So now use, go in reverse. So now move it with your finger. Then you see how quick the steering wheel is moving. The same on the eye controller. Now that picture shows always the direction of the trailer because the car is moving towards the trailer and yeah. follows the trailer and not otherwise around. Yeah. Okay, so now I want the trailer to go left. Yeah, exactly. So now it has to go to the right slope. Wow. So now, a little bit more. So now you stop. So now you see the trailer is moving towards the direction, so you just can move it backward. So now you see the car is sets itself towards the trailer wow. and straightens out. Because you see the black line wow. and the V is now better shown. Wow. Now you still have to go to the left. So once you spray it in there, just... Wow. 
cool. And the car sets itself towards the trailer straight. That's really cool. Don't need the trailer, for example, anymore. You know, and you hook that off the car. You have to keep going into the main menu again, go into drive settings, oh, and yeah. take it off. Because if you leave the trailer on, yeah. you know, you can, for example, use the maneuver assistant mm -hmm. now anymore because it's just being on the trailer. But it remembers always the trailer detection, what we did before, unless you take it out. So if we hook up another trailer now, right now, you have to really calibrate it again mm, and detect it. If not, he's going to use, you know. Yeah, the settings from the previous. From the old. Okay. Exactly. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. That was cool.